Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. There's a glare on your glasses. Alright. Oh, better when you look down. When I look down? Oh, yeah. I'm so dumb. <laughs> so, appreciate this video. I'm out here in smoke from a wildfire it smells and currently 102 degrees in the van. <laughs> Can you get it? Yep, 102. So in today's video, we're going to talk about, what a great day with the smoke smell. I know. Um, air quality in the van and things you need to know. The first thing we're going to discuss is my batteries. Camera lady might have to move to get them down there. Mm -hmm. I only have one hooked up. They will be hooked up in parallel. And this door goes on here and hits Velcro in the floor. Nice. And then goes on here. But as you can tell, it is not a sealed battery compartment. So the first thing about air quality and safety we're going to discuss is the possibility of hydrogen uh, release from my AGM sealed lead acid batteries. They are sealed. They should not be putting off any hydrogen gas. They could, however, put off hydrogen gas if I were to charge them, especially overcharge them in the van. But currently our setup is to put our solar panels outside. Um, we don't have them, we don't have a roof rack yet on the uh, roof of the van. Where else would a roof rack go but on the roof? <laughs> and uh, put the solar panels up there yet. Once I do that, I will vent this, these batteries to outside. So hydrogen is lighter than air. So if it was to produce hydrogen, it would go up high into the vent anyways. Um, we also do not have the ceiling vent in yet also for circulation. We're going to do that. But hydrogen in itself is not dangerous. Um, you can breathe it. It's not dangerous to you. It needs to ignite and then it explodes. So that's the danger of hydrogen. Um, no smell. Uh, no danger to your lungs or breathing it or anything like that. Just an explosion risk. But I don't think my AGM sealed lead acid batteries while in use are going to create any hydrogen. Um, not worried about that. So the second thing um, I want to discuss is the volume of air inside a small space. So you have to deal with things of like uh, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Well, carbon dioxide occurs naturally in the atmosphere. Um, it's needed for plants for uh, photosynthesis, and it happens to be, carbon dioxide happens to be what we exhale. So if this van was all closed up, windows up and everything, I'm sure it has leaks and some air is going to come in here anyways. But you don't really have to worry about breathing um, up the air in a small space. Eventually you would do that. But the first thing that would occur would be uh, two humans and our dog closed up in this van for hours would actually probably put a higher mix of the carbon dioxide that we're exhaling in with the air. And that would be more dangerous. So we will be putting a CO2 detector in here for that purpose. Um, carbon monoxide happens to be from oxygen starved things that are burning and not enough oxygen. So before catalytic converters on vehicles, uh, cars emitted... <laughs> Your parents are here. <laughs> Hi, parents. Hi, everybody. Here we are. Man people. We're just we lost your dog. Sorry. Oh, oh you no. better get me a new one then. We took her to the park and we lost her. We lost her. Little yeah. Little She'll Sorry. come back. She okay. loves us. All right. Back to the video. So, um... Just to finish this up, so we've talked about hydrogen and my batteries to be a concern inside the van. And we've talked about uh, carbon dioxide, dioxide, what we exhale, and carbon monoxide. Um, we'd probably have to worry about if we were cooking in here to make sure to exhaust that out. Other than that, that's my video of the day. Um, hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up so it encourages me to make more. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye.